Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Team Greek got absolutely destroyed the last video. We got over 40 likes. We got 30 subscribers over 400 views let's go team green god welcome back to the channel if you're not a subscriber what are you doing go ahead and subscribe let's get rolling first step to mastering a skill is figure out what skill it is that you're trying to master we all have a lot of hobbies a lot of passions and if you want to be a master of all you're going to be a master of none so the first step is to finalize what skill it is that you're truly passionate about and you're trying to dedicate a lot of time into. Step number two, you have to set yourself up a framework by which you're gonna measure whether or not you're making progress in that skill. Feedback loop. So in the feedback loop, what you wanna do is you wanna compare yourself to who you were yesterday or to who you were last, a week ago or a month ago. You don't wanna be comparing yourself to somebody else's timeline. Because the reality is you don't know how long their timeline is. You don't know what their priority of that skill is. One thing my biology teacher, who is a professional skier, said to me one day is, the thing is, if you're comparing yourself to other people, the problem with that is once you become the best at it, then who do you compare yourself to? Well, hey, you, if you're still watching the video, you're a champ. Can you please give this video a like? It's going to help the algorithm do his thing. Part of step two is making sure that you're being consistent. If you're gonna be consistent, that's gonna give you a lot more results than if you just do a lot in just a short period of time. Step number three is you need to somehow journal the process. So let's say I, I'm doing running and I wanna get really good at running. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and have a personal journal and write down, maybe not every day because it's harder to stay consistent with it. And that's the most important thing is if you're able to stay consistent with it, then that's what's gonna get you results. Maybe try journaling once a week, twice a week. You know, journal the process. For example, in my case, the run. How did the run go? Did I have to overcome any mental hurdles? What are some ways you can tweak around? That way it's easier for you to succeed in this skill. The benefit of this is that our memory is really finite. It's really hard to keep in all this data just in our minds. That's why it's important for us to write it down. So that way we can utilize our brain and stop thinking about the same thing over and over again. Once you think about it once, write it in your journal, so that way you can start having new thoughts. Because many times we get into this loop where we have the same thought over and over and over again, and that's because we have finite memory, and therefore it's very important that you utilize some sort of journaling, so that way you can start thinking about other ways you can master the skill. Last step, put it down somewhere. Put it on your agenda, put it on your calendar, put it on your schedule. Just put it somewhere so that you can remind yourself daily to practice that skill. Otherwise, there will be times where you completely like forget about it because you're on a busy schedule. If you wanna see more great content like this, cut, cut it, cut it, cut it. If you wanna see more great content like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe because this channel is only getting stronger. We're getting better day by day. We're gonna be uploading weekly videos once every Friday. Your support is all that matters. I'll see you in the next video. Let's get it. Let's go.